Welcome! In front of me is a Huawei Nova 10 Pro and today I'll show you how we can enable your power saving mode. So to get started you will want to pull down your toggles from the top right side of the screen like this. Extend the list and locate the power saving mode which it looks like by default it is turned off so we will need to click right here on this square. Select edit switches and I can already see it right here, power saving mode. So once you see this icon, just hold it and drag it over to the top, select done, and as you can see, it's now accessible in our toggles. From here, all you need to do is just tap on it. It gives us a stupidly brief uh, message uh, without explaining anything. So improve battery life by disabling features such as auto sync. Fantastic, it does way more than that, but why would Huawei mention it? No freaking clue. So let me quickly give you a little bit more insight on what might be happening right now, which uh, keep in mind, part of this is just guessing. I have no clue what's happening. So uh, number one, high refresh rate display, it's gone. Uh, so you're gonna be, if you're using 120 Hertz normally, uh, your phone will be running now at 60, which you can probably see in a video where it looks like super choppy. Um, so that's one thing. And number two, which I would probably consider one of the most important ones, uh, this is Huawei, so it's already pretty annoying uh, when notifications don't really uh, get delivered to you sometimes like they should uh, when they're being sent to you. Uh, so with power saving mode, expect that, but just multiply it even uh, further. Now, keep in mind, this is just speculation on how typically power saving mode works. So I'm expecting it's gonna work the same way right here. So meaning when enabled, it will disconnect from Wi-Fi and mobile data when the device is not being used. So locked like this and just laying on a table or whatever for some period of time. It disconnects from the uh, Wi-Fi and mobile data to preserve battery life. But because of this, you won't be receiving any kind of notifications from apps that require some kind of network connection. And those apps, just to give you a couple of them, would be apps like Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, and so on. So if you're not getting messages, notifications from those apps, that's basically the reason. Anyway, going back to the actual power saving mode, um, I'm gonna give you one more uh, little nugget, a tip right here that I can utilize, which is if you plan to preserve your battery life, probably lowering down your brightness if you can, uh, meaning you can considering if you're outside, uh, usually during like direct just day when it's super sunny, uh, lowering down brightness might not be a viable solution because you just won't be able to see your display. But indoors where you can just lower it down to like almost non-existent, uh, if you're planning to preserve your battery life, this will be one of the best, no. I lowered it down. Are you effing kidding me? <sighs> Huawei again. Uh, let's see if we have any options. But anyway, continuing this kind of strain of thought right here, lowering down your brightness, uh, assuming it won't bring it back up to whatever it thinks is adequate, uh, will reduce the battery strain. And the more you lower it, the more uh, battery life you will get from that. So it's a really nice thing to try to utilize, assuming you are able to. Now let's quickly go into, I guess, display and brightness and okay. And you can just turn off auto automatic brightness so it won't be switching it. Uh, if you lower it down like super low, it won't bring it back up uh, disregarding what you have just set. So there we go. You just kind of need to fiddle around with this. But anyway, uh, to turn off your power saving mode, the actual default one, just tap on the toggle and there we go. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.